life reflections hello and welcome to another time of study today we will be considering the topic speaking hope to hopeless situations and our scripture is taken from acts chapter 27 verses 22 to 26 i read from the nlt but take courage none of you will lose your lives even though the ship will go down for last night an angel of the god to whom i belong and whom i serve stood beside me and he said don't be afraid paul for you will surely stand trial before caesar what's more god in his goodness has granted safety to everyone sailing with you so take courage for i believe god it will be just as he said but we will be shipwrecked on an island amen speaking hope to hopeless situations in chapter 27 of the acts of the apostles dr luke gave us some detailed records of the voyage probably from caesarea to rome he recounted how the captain allowed Paul to see his friends when they landed at Sidon. When they docked at Myra, they changed ship to an Egyptian one that was headed for Italy. He also gave a vivid account of the fierce winds of the hurricane that almost wrecked the ship. Beloved, night and day seemed the same until they finally gave up hope of being saved. But Paul drew hope and courage from the message he received from the angel of the Lord. By that, he assured the people of God's protection, stating that they would experience a shipwreck, but all of them will be saved. What message of hope can you give to your world? This, I guess, is food for thought. So we'll have us to do a quick review of the verses we just read by answering the following. What was Paul's message to the people who were aboard the ship with him? We find that in verse 22. Who did Paul say stood beside him the previous night? We find that in verse 23. What message did the angel of the Lord give to Paul that night? We find that in verse 24. What assuring words of hope did Paul give to the people that were on the ship with him? We find that in verse 25. And finally, what did Paul say would happen to the ship that they were traveling on? We find that in verse 26. Do you mind taking time to look at these questions and see if you can answer them all by yourself from the verses specified? But just in case you miss out on any of them, I will have us to do a quick recap of these verses. Now look narrated that Paul told the people to take courage, assuring them that none of them would lose their lives. Again, Paul mentioned that the previous night, an angel of his God appeared and stood beside him. Thirdly, Luke narrated that the angel told Paul not to be afraid, affirming that he would surely stand trial before Caesar, stressing that God in his goodness has granted safety to everyone sailing with him. Mm. Fourthly, Paul told the people to take courage, affirming his belief that it would be just as God had said. And finally, Luke narrated that Paul, however, said that the ship will go down and be wrecked on an island. Wow. In response to the above, how did Paul receive hope from the God he sent on his way to Rome? Derived from the acronym HOPE, here are some ways the Lord ministered to Paul. The letter H in the acronym HOPE, the Lord helped Paul by granting him favor before the centurion named Julius. We find that in verse 3. The next day when the, the next day when we docked at Sidon, Julius was very kind to Paul and let him go ashore to visit his friends so they could provide his need. That was God at work. Letter O in the acronym Hope, the Lord ordered Paul's journey to Rome through the storms to stand before Caesar. We find that in verse 24, the angel told me, 
Don't be afraid, Paul. You must present your case to the emperor. God has granted safety to everyone sailing with you. And I say amen to that. Letter P in the acronym HOPE. The Lord protected Paul from the soldiers who had planned to kill all the prisoners. We find that in verse 42 and 43a, and I read from the NIV, the soldiers planned to kill the prisoners to prevent any of them from swimming away and escaping. But the centurion wanted to spare Paul's life and kept them from carrying out their plan. Again, this was God at work. And finally, letter E in the acronym HOPE, the Lord encouraged Paul that he in turn encouraged the people to eat. We find that in Acts 27 verses 33 and 34, I read, just before dawn, Paul begged them all to eat some food. You have been waiting for 14 days now, and all this time you have not eaten a thing. I beg you then, eat some food. You need it to survive, not even a hair of your hurts will be lost. Hallelujah. Mm. Speaking hope to hopeless situations. Remember, Paul had enough faith in the word of the God whose he was and who he served. And so he could speak with such authority that no life would be lost, not even a hair of their hurts. Then he took some bread, gave thanks to God, before them all and broke a piece and ate it. Then everyone was encouraged and began to eat. Acts chapter 27 verses 33 and 34. Child of God, it's time to speak hope into hopeless situations in our lives and in the lives of others, just like Paul did. For he said, take courage, for I believe God. It will be just as he said. Amen. In conclusion, what have we said? The Lord provided hope to Paul on his journey to Rome. That is, he helped Paul by granting him favor before Julius. He ordered Paul's journey to Rome to stand before Caesar. He protected Paul from the soldiers who planned to kill them. And finally, the Lord encouraged Paul so that he in turn encouraged the people. Amen. Mm. I have been blessed by this message. If you don't mind, let us pray. Lord Jesus, please help us to hope against hope in our difficult moments, leaning on the sheer word that you've given us. Amen. Before I sign off, I want to speak some words of hope to you. Beloved, no matter what you're going through, always remember that the faithful God who has promised will bring it to pass in his time. So take heart, all is well. Amen. This is all the time would allow us to share today. If Jesus tarries and we are still alive, I will come your way again next week with a few verses from chapter 28 of Acts of the Apostles. You have no idea how excited I feel. We are coming to the end of this beautiful book. Until then, always remember that it is Suska wishing you Jesus. Shalom and God bless you.